Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel once again, Save For Real 757. As you can see, I am in the car. It is Thursday, September the... Fifth. Fifth. And it is about 8.30. I don't even have my... Let me see my other phone. I think it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm on my way to pick up pick up some groceries because we don't you know we haven't made groceries to my husband and I in a minute so sister girl gotta eat she gotta keep up this body this help that body glory to God and so I'm just messing with y'all y'all know I love I like to make y'all laugh but seriously I'm on my way to make some groceries I'm on my way to see if I can find some things that would help me finish finish decorating my master bathroom um the curtains i tried to upload a video and what happened was it's called shopping hall slash is the earth sick or something something like that the earth, the earth is sick part of the video is upside down and i don't know how to rotate it to make it right side up so and that was a good video y'all oh my goodness i was proud of myself in that video and so i have to figure out how i'm gonna do this i probably just if i pick up some stuff today if i find stuff and i pick it up i'm gonna come home today and show you what i purchased first of all then um i'm going to show you probably the before it with, with the after because before I've, I've already taken out what was in my master bathroom already so that's not going you're not gonna get no before but I'm trying to upload these videos for y'all because y'all have been so patient. I bought a, I purchased me a Samsonite uh, hands-free calling phone thing. Okay, so this 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 goes in my car so I can talk to y'all hands-free right here while I'm driving. However, I need some scissors to cut it open because I was going to install it so we can drive, so I can drive and talk at the same time. But my sisters are in the house, and I also bought me uh, a charger, six six inch charger for iPhones. I'm, I'm gonna leave this one in my car, and I have my water on deck. Y'all know I got to have my water. I have my keys. I have oh, you know this this these visors. You everybody should have one of these because this will help protect your car dashboard from the sun rays and it won't fade it out you know fade it out cause your dashboard to fade in this color so my husband gave me one because he and he and he's been fussing with me about it for years you should get you one well you the husband get me one <laughs> and he did praise the lord now i'm gonna try to take y'all along while i'm driving i don't know how i'm gonna do this but because I, I had y'all right here but the thing won't go down let me see Okay, I'm going to try to keep y'all like that, but let's give it a go. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm sorry, and I do apologize, and I have to repent because I lied to y'all. So, Father, I repent in the name of Jesus and ask that you would cast my sins as far as the east is from the west and never remember them again. I have to repent because I told y'all I would pick up the camera once I got to Walmart and to the stores I was going to. But honey, there's so many people out there because you know they, we supposed to be getting Dorian tomorrow. And so there's a lot of people out there. And so I did a little bit of that. Y'all know I am so sorry. But so anyway, I did a little bit of damage. That's my stuff right there, right there. And then back in the laundry room. But I am going to start unpacking my things and show y'all what I purchased. It's not a lot. I hope it's still now. It's not a lot, but I'm going to show you anyway. I tried to do a pretty good haul this time as far as healthy. Okay. So the first thing I purchased was these ginger, ginger root. Let me tell you something about ginger. Ginger is good for upset stomach. Ginger is good when you're feeling sick on your stomach. Ginger is good for your, it's an antioxidant. It, it, it helps. You, the ginger, look it up. Ginger is good for a whole bunch of stuff. What my husband and I do, we 
uh, we peel the ginger and then we uh, put it on the um, we we shred it up real fine and we put it in our teapot and boil and make ginger tea. Mm -hmm. Or my husband, what he would do and I would do sometimes, we'll take a piece of the ginger and we'll peel it and we'll bite a piece off and chew it. He cuts down on the mucus. It helps mucus. Uh, I got me some eggs. Okay. I usually get the big, the big crate, but I didn't do it at this time. But this is a lot of food, y'all. So I hope I don't mind. I hope I go ahead and let y'all see everything. I got me a small bag of um, yams. Yams are good for your skin. Yams is a good, yams is also a good carb. And I just want some mixed nuts. So I got me a bag of mixed nuts. This is the Sunshine Country brand. These are so delicious. So delicious. Oh my goodness. My husband in the morning, on Sunday mornings and Saturday mornings when I'm making him his breakfast, he liked toast. And so I picked him up some uh, Welch's Natural Concord Grape Jelly. To go, on his, uh, to go on his, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm bending all down, to go on his toast, okay? And one of the things he requested that I do when I was at the store was to pick him up, uh, let me show y'all, uh, he likes mango, mango and guava, yeah, guava juice. So these are the brand that he loves. Very inexpensive, so I got him two of each of these. Okay. So I got him two of that. I also picked up the Great Value Honey Graham Crackers. He likes those to snack on with peanut butter sometimes. So I picked them up. So I picked them up two of those. Okay. Um, here I have the Great Value uh, Whole Grain Saltine Crackers. These are whole grain. They cost the same amount as the regular crackers. This is the other box of graham crackers. I told you I bought two boxes of those. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough room to show you everything. Okay. Uh, we were running low on our creamer. This is the brand I got. This is the caramel macchiato brand. I mean, flavor, flavor. And I bought me two of these Hillshire Farms hot smoked sausages because what I do with these, I cut them up and put them and put them in my um, spaghetti. Good, but honey, these are here. My gosh, they are delicious. You hear me? Delicious. And my husband and I, we don't eat pork, but honey, child, we don't even want to eat I don't know what that is. What what that is, what that has in it? But I'm gonna eat it. Okay, and over here, I have a big jug of orange juice. Okay. I have me a big piece of salmon. Uh, my husband and I, we might can get, I can get a piece, he can get a piece. And then the next day, he'll have a piece enough to take to work, To I mean, sorry, to take to lunch. So that's why I bought this. Okay. Then I purchased a bag of apples. I purchased a bag of lemon, and I use the lemon, you guys, uh, sometimes for tea, but the main reason I buy those lemons is because I use, I make a detox drink, and the detox drink consists of lemons, cucumbers, uh, lemons, cucumbers, ginger, lemons, cucumbers, and ginger. Lemon, cucumber, ginger. Yeah. And you let it sit for 24 hours before you start drinking it. And uh, it's a detoxifier. You're you going to be running to the bathroom. So don't plan to go nowhere once you do this. Okay. I have, a, I have this thing for oatmeal. This is a cheap brand. Great value oatmeal cookies. So I bought my cookies. I bought me some grapes okay and this bag right here whew, 
is a bag of uh, white potatoes. Bag of white potatoes. And this right here is, I got three bags of shrimp. Three bags of shrimp. Okay. Then over here I have Okay, some more bananas. We already had, we just bought some bananas, but I buy, I, I'm buying more because I'm ready to hit that smooth. I'm ready to hit that drinking of smoothies real hard. I got some, um, these are sliced white mushrooms. I got, I think I have two of those. I got me some green peppers. This is the fish that my husband and I, we, we eat. This, uh, it's called swine, swine filet. It's skinless and boneless. My goodness. It is so, 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 so good. This swine beats, I don't eat tilapia anymore. I've been stopped eating tilapia since I found it was farm grown. But the swine fish, and they are some very meaty, thick fish. So I bought two bags of these, okay? And then I bought this right here. I bought some blueberries to put in my smoothies. Okay. I bought these right here. These are, the brand is called Mission Yellow Corn Tortillas. My husband, he wants those. Because sometimes what my husband do, he cook goat meat. You know, my, my husband's from the island, so he cook goat meat and he cook oxtail. And sometimes he wants to have a, what is that called, y'all? He wants to have a, he wants to go, he, oh, my, I, it's, and he said, corn tortillas is the best one. You know, they get the goat meat, they do chicken, they, and they do goat meat like this, and their potatoes and the little seasonings. Oh, my goodness. The, and it has like a gravy, and they slop it up. Ooh, that's some good eating right here. Okay. And I got two eggplants. My husband, he wanted some, he wanted some eggplants, so I got two of those. He likes those. I mean, I do too, but... You know, I don't think I would order. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. I got some more stuff. Whew. Here is my, okay. And so, this is my other bag of swai fish. This is my butterball all-ground turkey, turkey meat. We don't, we try not to do, we try not to do the beef too, too, too much. But we, I'm not saying we don't do beef, but not as much. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Whew, all this stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. So I have a, I have a bag of, um, I don't know what these are called. These are called mandarins. I got a bag of them. Very, they were very inexpensive. And I got me a uh, cantaloupe. Oh, all this stuff can go my smoothie if I choose to. And then y'all know me. It's not a grocery haul if Tina don't get her a chicken Caesar salad. So I usually get three of them. So I got three of them. And here's the second one. The, the other one right here somewhere. And then this is my, so you know I got the, I got these grapes, but then I got the red grapes too. Yep. I I picked up me some stevia, organic stevia. I got another. This is my other thing of sliced mushrooms. I got me two bags of black eyed peas, and I'm ready. I think I'm ready to cook one of these bags today. I love. Me some black eyes. So I got two bags of them. Okay. I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming. Okay. And so in this bag, I have my third salad. 
and I have a I have a head of cabbage. Okay. Now, what I'm doing? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm coming, y'all. And let me. I'm gonna just grab the stuff so I gotta keep this in. Okay. I ha and I bought I bought me some adobo seasoning. I bought me some Texas hot peat. I bought me some honey mustard dipping sauce. We my husband and I we love honey mustard. And um I purchased me another thing of a cinnamon. I put the cinnamon in my smoothie. And then I have the organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. And this is what I use to take my shots with. My morning, you know, vinegar shots. And I haven't been taking them lately because I, I ran out. And y'all know I really couldn't do anything because, I'm, because of my bag. Okay. Show you what else I got. I'm coming, y'all. I'm right here. Oh, and because this is gonna last for a long time, sometimes I want my snacks. And these are my jalapeno. These are kettle cooked jalapeno uh, flavored potato chips. I got two of them. Okay. Okay. Over here. Over here, I have the blue corn tortilla chips. I have two of them. And let me tell you why I bought those. Hold on, y'all. Because I purchased because I purchased uh, some, some hummus. And this is the black bean and jalapeno black bean and jalapeno hummus. And then I have the, veg, the, the roasted vegetable hummus. And we already have some in the refrigerator. That's what the black, and that's what we use. That's what we eat. we dip with this. We we get these and we use and, and we eat with that. I mean, and we eat this. Okay. Let me see what else I got. Okay. Two bags of Cheetos, my favorite. Then. I also have uh, some deluxe mixed nuts from, I know I got those, but I, I went on and got these too. Cause I, see when we make roast, we we try to make roast for a minute and we ain't trying to keep going back and forth out like that. But let me show y'all what else I got. Oh my goodness, I don't know if all this stuff. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna find somewhere right here. Okay, so. In this bag, I have candles. Oh, I love my candles. Let me tell you something. I tried my candles from, um, I tried some candles from Bed Bath & Beyond. Right. And I'm just going to be honest. They were okay. And, and they were, the ones I bought was only $10 a piece. But, I got to think. Tina, why would you do that? I love these from uh, Walmart. This is the Better Home and Gardens. Soon as I open it, girl, this is the Caramel Pecan. Huh? I ain't paid but $4 and something, something, something for this. $4.97. So I got that size. See, I, see, I got two, two, uh, two different sizes. I got... See, one is big. But this one was $5.97. This was $4.97. And then I purchased Better Home and Gardens Caramel Fireside. Honey, y'all need to. This smells so good, baby. Yeah. I ain't, you know, I love this. I mean, I don't mind spending a little bit of money when I got to. But I'm not, you know, Bath and Body Works, you know, it's it's hyped up. It really, really is. I, there's nothing wrong. I have purchased their plugins. I purchased their little, you know, the plug-in things and the plug-in piece. I and I purchased candles and I purchased the lotions and the whatever. But 
Do you really think I'm going to pay somebody? People, I, I, I just don't understand. Stop jumping on the bandwagon when everybody else wins. You can go to Walmart. You can go to all these other little stores. Home Goods, TJ Maxx. All them stuff. Like Burlington Coat Factory. They got some, some of their candles are just as good, if not better. And the reason I say better is because it's cheaper. But I'm still getting the fragrance that I like. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to clean up all this kitchen. I'm going to clean my refrigerator out. And I'm going to light me a candle. Put on my, 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 thank you, Jesus. And glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm, glory to God. I'm going to put my music on. We're going to, me, listen, me and the Holy Ghost. We're going to throw that up in this house. Praise the Lord. But let me show you what else I got. I went to the store for. Y'all, I'm telling you, don't listen. This is these are the rugs I've been looking for to match my bathroom and my bedroom. I'm gonna show y'all when I get upstairs. I'm not gonna take everything out the back as of yet. Because then I gotta put it back up in the bag to go upstairs. But I just wanted to talk to y'all this morning. And also, got me some curries. These curries was on sale for five dollars. I'm gonna show them to you. But not right now. Because I really want to take this time to talk to you real, real quick, okay? Listen. I've been trying to upload a certain type of video. Both times. Something went wrong with the video. But I'm going to try my best to get this in here today. Praise the Lord. I'm going to get this out today. The devil is a liar. I want to talk to y'all real serious, real, real quick. And, I, and I'm not going to hold you. I'm trying not to make this video real long. But this, is, this has got to be said. The, have you ever wondered why there is so much calamity in the land? Have you ever wondered why that there is so much natural disasters? I'm talking about, and these are catastrophic disasters. Because at one time, you would hear of a hurricane once a year. At one time, you would hear about this once a year. At one time, you would hear about this. And one time, but all of a sudden, this the, the earthquakes, the tsunamis, the hurricanes, the tornadoes, the, you know, it's a whole bunch of things happening on the ocean, the whole bunch of so much killing in the land. It's a whole bunch of evil in the land. Well, can I help you? I'm going to give you some biblical scriptures, and I want you to go search this, search the word of God out for yourself. The Bible tells it in the book of Leviticus, uh, number eight, chapter eighteen, verse twenty-five, verse twenty-two and twenty-five. It tells us this: that the earth is had that we have defiled the land. The land meaning the earth. We have defiled the earth. We have defiled the earth, and the earth is now. Hear me. The earth is now vomiting out its inhabitants. And what that means is it's causing the earth is regurgitating everything that we've ever put in it. There is too much. And the purpose and the reason for it is, is this. How have we defiled the land? We have defiled the land that God gave us because of the sin that we have allowed in the land. The sin in the land. The murders, the rape, the molestations, the prejudice, the the uh, 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 the un. Uh, the, uh, the un the, uh, injustice, the shedding of innocent blood. We have allowed same-sex marriage in our land. We have legalized the very things that are an abomination to God. We have legalized it. You have people out here committing bestiality. You have people, my God, some states and countries are trying to legalize where you can have sex and marry a minor. That's, listen, that's an abomination to God. That is the sin that is defiling the land. Come on, somebody. I mean, in some countries, my, and I'm not just talking about America. I said the land, the earth. In some countries, my God, little girls as young as eight and nine are being forced to marry these men in their 30s and 40s. You mean to tell me that you're going to marry off your baby girl to a man, my God, with a perverted mindset? Because in a time a man could look at a child and want to have sexual relations to her or with her he has a perverted mindset and because we have because we have allowed it to happen and we have legalized it in some other countries my god is a don't you know that that sin is an abomination to god and then there are some 
Every time you turn around, somebody getting killed. America, you have allowed police brutality to go on. And nobody is being held accountable like they should. But notice this. It's not everybody's child. It's our children, if you know what I mean. Every time you turn around, somebody's son and somebody's daughter is being accosted by the police. They've been, uh, they've been illegally stopped by the police. They're, uh, they're being harassed by the police. And listen to me. I love everybody. But the truth is the truth. That sin, that's injustice. That's injustice. It is an injustice. My God. I, you mean to tell me I don't have the same rights as the next person? But this is what's happening. For so long we have been allowing this sin in the land. For so long. And then you got people. That, honey, let me, let me tell you something. And I'm going to step on some toes right here. But you know what? It'll be all right in the morning. Praise God. Uh, it's so sad. And I'm sweating like I done stole something. Let me use this. It's so sad. My God is on it. That... I'm going to talk about something, but I, I, I need y'all to hear me when I say it. Everybody voted for ex-president or former president Barack Obama because of the color of his skin. I don't care what nobody said. The African-American community voted, voted for Barack Obama because of the color of his skin. It didn't care what he stood for. It didn't care what he didn't stand for. Because under his under his presidency, hear me, hear me, hear me, children of God, hear me, people. There were three laws that were passed for the, for the LGBT community. But what did he do, truthfully speaking, to help me and you? Uh, it was under his tutelage or under his presidency, my God, that they legalized, hear me, that, that they put in motion to make it a law. For same-sex marriage. But don't know why I want to talk about that. Okay? Here's the thing. Because America has legalized the very thing that is an abomination to God. That same-sex marriage. And I'm going to talk to you real, real quick about something else too. The Bible also tells us, children of God, hear me. And a lot of y'all going to get offended, but you know what? Pray about it. Read, and listen, just read, just read the word of God. Don't take my word. Read the word of God. And it tells us that a man should not lie with the woman. A man should not lie with the man the way he would lie with the woman. It is an abomination unto the Lord. Read your Bible. Read Leviticus 18 and 22. Leviticus 18 and 25. Mm -hmm. Read it read it. And so I say that to say this it's getting hot. I say that to say this. And people do, and people, they keep saying, well well, the word homosexual is not in the Bible. It don't have to be. God explicitly told you, don't lie. A man should not lie with a man the way he would a woman. It is an abomination to the Lord. That's what's in the Bible. That's what's in the Bible. Give me a minute. I'm going to show you something. Okay, because I want y'all to see this. Because my thing is, give me a second. Give me a second. And the reason I say what I say, what I say, a man. Oh my God! Should not. Not lay, lay with a man. I'm just doing it because I want everybody to see that I'm not lying. Okay, here we go right here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I found it. I want y'all to go. It's in, it's in, ooh, I am sweating. And I got that, ooh. 
This is midnight crisis. The Bible says in the book of Leviticus 18 and 22, it says, let me see, let me see if I can make it big for you. Hold on. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Because I want you. Let me go back. Hold on. I want the King James Version. Because I want y'all to understand that God ain't playing with us. But anyway, here we go. I'm a, I am just want y'all to get it, get, get, get the text. And I'm not trying to, it's not going, it's too big. It's too big for me to show it to you. We'll just turn to Leviticus chapter, verse, your chapter 18, verse 22. It, you'll see it, Leviticus. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Genesis is the first <laughs> book of the Bible. Exodus is the second. And Leviticus is the third. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Okay. Third book of the Bible. Chapter 18, verse 22. That's an abomination. All this innocent blood that we are shedding in the land. All of it. Abomination. I mean, the land is regurgitating. Don't you know this? That everything that can reproduce or has the ability to cause something to reproduce is a living creation of God. We are living creation because we can reproduce after our own kind, which is our children. The earth is a living creation because it can cause the, a seed to reproduce after its own kind. The earth, I'm gonna say it again, is a living creation because it can cause the, it causes the, a seed to reproduce after its own kind. How and you might live what? Whenever you plant an apple seed in the in the soil of the earth, the earth gives its nutrients and, and it's like it's like an incubation state until that seed began to blossom and sprout. Just like our babies, a woman's child is in the womb of the woman until it's in, it's incubated until she gives birth. Now the earth is sick. But what happens? Can I help you? The Bible tells that when Moses came down from Mount Sinai and the children that uh, Israel, after God had delivered them from under the hand of Pharaoh, they were committing an abomination. The earth opened her mouth. That's, that's what the Bible said. The earth opened her mouth and swallowed them and their houses. Swallowed them and their houses. The earth is regurgitating. The earth is sick. That's why there's so much disaster in the land. That's why there's so much tsunamis, and that's why there the 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 waves and the sins and the waves and 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 the winds are blowing. That's why there's so many earthquakes going on. That's why so many volcanoes are erupting because the earth is sick. Because of the innocent blood that we shed. Because of the sin that we allow in the land. Because of the sin of perversion and lust and lewd acts that's being committed in the earth. God gave us the earth to enjoy, the land to enjoy. And what do we do? We have defiled the land. So to answer your question, what's going on and why so many natural disasters? Well, the, well it's because the earth is sick and she is, she is vomiting out the inhabitants of the land. I pray this helps somebody. I pray you get an understanding. Take the time to read the Bible for yourself. Take the time to read the word of God for yourself that you can get a better and clear understanding. I don't mind answering any questions. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I'm um, and if this is a, this was a blessing to you, please share this video. People need understanding and they need clarity and they need direction. So please uh, do yourself a favor. Read the Bible for yourself. Develop your relationship with God and, and trust God in all things. Listen, they're saying that Dorian is on the way, but trust me, honey child, God uh, is the shelter from all, all storms. My name is Prophet Tina Moore. Thank you for tuning into my channel today, Save for Real 757. Don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe. Share my, share my channel with everybody. God bless you all. Until next time.